This ship has six different fun zones. Let's go check them out. Right behind me are the doors where you board this ship, guys. It's freaking awesome. When you come in and you look up, there's the atrium. We're gonna walk through here so you can see how awesome this is. It's just beautiful. We're playing bingo right now. Everyone's playing bingo. One of our friends is here playing bingo. I think she reserved seats for us. But um, it's really cool. Now my speed is based so, off of you. Look up now. Look up. You see that? Oh my God! It's so. This first game it's pretty really impressive. Crazy. It's really nice. Also know that I played Good luck, everybody. <laughs> so it's really cool. We're playing bingo now. We did. Uh, we were here for a deal. Deal or no deal. Hey, here's part of the gang. What's up, guys? And the newlyweds are here. <laughs> Um, this is really, really a great spot because this is where they do the shows. I mean, this thing transforms over at nighttime and depending on the show they got going on, when they do deal or no deal, it looks just like you're on the, in the TV show. It's so awesome. Really, really cool. So you might remember this from day one when we came in. It's right by the car here. There's plenty, plenty of things happening on deck six. Oh, coffee, coffee bar right here, man. You gotta have Java Blue. Java Blue Cafe. Okay, so from Java Blue, we can cross over to the Cherry on Top, which is a candy store here on board the ship, which is so fun. And they actually are pretty busy all the time. I see a lot of people buying candy. They have all kinds. And it's right across from where we're playing bingo right now. And as we headed down the hallway, we wind up at the piano bar. We took a peek in here the other night. All right, so after we passed the piano bar, we wind up over here at the Punchliner. This is where we saw Jimmy. He is so funny, check him out at funnyjimmy.com. Don't forget, you won't regret it, funny guy. This is what the uh, elevators look like over here. And then you always have the stairs back there. So after you pass by Comedy Club, you have the gym back there. Check it out, it's a really nice gym. There's plenty of room for you to work out. And Cloud9 Spa, Grand Spectrum Theater. We were here the other day. All right, so that's the bar here at the uh, main stage or the atrium. You can see the ocean behind there. That gets covered up for the shows. This is the Golden Jubilee. And on this side, we have a nice model of the ship. And just like that, we come up to the Carnival Restaurant, which is the main dining room. Now, we've been here a few nights and it's great. And as you head this way, you get to see the wall of posters. One of my favorite hallways here on deck six, Bahamas, Cuba, Australia, Norway, Egypt, Malaysia, Alaska, Mexico, New Orleans, Greece, Italy, and Hawaii. That carnival has been around for 50 years now. So I'm loving the uh, little homage to each decade. The 1970s on board, Carnival and the 1980s on board Carnival. Over here they have a model of one of the very early ships from 50 years ago. Oh my god, how things have changed compared to the new celebration. Here she is, the Carnival Celebration. Oh my god, what a difference from the small 1970s ship. Just really amazing. This thing is huge. This model is really, really cool. They did such a great job on this. 185,000 tons of fun. Speaking of ice cream, there's two free ice cream stations on the ship. You just go and soft serve yourself either a cone or a cup. <laughs> it's available all day and night. All day. We are still on deck six and you can see we have entered a little kind of like mall. It's like being in a mall. You have the Hip Fish Accessories Boutique right here. And then on this side, we have this little spot here where you can buy, you can buy chains by the inch. <laughs> We're gonna enter the gateway right now. You can come down these stairs, which are really cool and awesome for picture taking. I've seen a lot of people taking pictures here, but the, gate, the gateway says embark on a journey and it sure is because you're going to have the bar here, Latitudes, which covers drinks from all over. And that's why they have all the posters here. 
because also cuisine from all over. We have Emeralds Bistro 1397, which takes you on a journey. Cuisine from all over the world. And you can just pick your seat right here. If you like a booth or whatever you want. And go ahead and get your food here at the Bistro. We haven't tried this one yet, but hopefully we can get to try it. There's so much that you might not even have a chance to do everything. Another beautiful staircase taking you up to deck seven. And now we're just walking by the carnival kitchen, fun with cooking. I can barely make it out, but you can see that it's a little cooking school. And we have reached the end over here of deck six, festival restaurant. This is another one of the uh, main dining rooms. So you either have uh, the carnival or the festival. So we were assigned to the carnival, but you can also be assigned to the festival. Let's take a look, because I haven't really looked in this one yet. This is the first time I see it. And they're already getting it set up. It looks beautiful. Okay, so I wouldn't mind trying this one out. It looks really nice. It's really awesome. It's very inviting. You just want to sit there and have your dinner. It's great. All right, we're going to head up to deck seven. So the dining rooms have two stories. So now we're on deck seven. We've gone up the stairs and we can explore a whole new deck. And we can start with Park West with this beautiful gallery. And right across you have Fahrenheit Steakhouse. It has a bar right at the entrance. By the way guys, sweet at Fahrenheit Steakhouse, it's an extra $23, but you don't have to do it if you don't want. Some extra seating in case you pick, pick up any food and have nowhere to sit. Sometimes it does get packed, so you might want to be able to, um, to have options where to sit and whatever. And we're coming up to the Alchemy Bar. It's just another one of the bars they have. You see, it's a beautiful bar, really nice. And this is right next to the Lime <laughs> Limelight Lounge. This was really fun. We were here the other night. They have different themed nights. Sometimes it's 90s night, which is the one we attended the other night. And sometimes they have a comedian. Sometimes they have 80s night, 70s night. There's all kinds of different events happening. They appear a few times throughout the day, so you have different options. You can see them at one time or two hours later, whatever. So it gives you a lot of options. It looks like we might have some more shopping options as well. If you're into the artwork that they have here at the gallery, a lot of the pictures are on display. So you can take a nice look when the gallery is closed. You can still see them. And then you have the duty-free, right? Duty-free port side liquor and tobacco. <laughs> okay, we have this little shop here called Island Traders. And out here on the, in the hallway, they have a little kiosk with watches. First of all, it's a really cool casino, very modern, of course, up to date. But the cool thing is that they have a smoking section and a non-smoking section. This is the non-smoking section. You can breathe in if you're not if you're a non-smoker. Um, nice. <laughs> I love it. I love that they have the non-smoking section. So I'm gonna hope that Eva's behind me. <laughs> Eva, where are you? Oh, I was waiting for you. By the way, guys, I want to let you know that Eva has her own channel called Eva Loves Disney. If you haven't seen it yet, she's my wife, of course. Check her videos out so you can see her opinion on the same things that we do when it's we do it together. It's a different point of view, which is, it's, I've been told it's interesting when you see how differently we both yeah, do our videos. Exactly. You get to see both of us in action and what we think and how we feel about things. Okay, so as we get to the end of the casino, um, we get to the Grand Spectrum Theater. And this is going to be the uh, elevated or second story. It looks like we're going to start heading up to Deck 8. All right, time for a pro tip. Use the stairs whenever you can, because you eat a lot when you're on board. <laughs> oh my God, I have eaten a lot. Baby, you think I gained weight on this uh, cruise? Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> I say a big yes. I have gained a lot of weight on this cruise. Deck A is home to the Havana staterooms and suites. These suites have exclusive areas. If you want more privacy, if you feel like you want to have a little area to yourself, your own pool, your own rest area, that's the place to go. What you do is you pay a little extra, but you will have more privacy and more quiet. She bang, she bang, yeah, this is she bang. <laughs> that was dinner last night. It was really good. I had the ranchero steak and I loved it. I also went with the loaded nachos.
It looks so different now that it's converted into the bar, but this is where you can rent to have your own wedding. And it turned out amazing. If you didn't see the video, check it out. This is one of the areas that you have all to yourself once you are part of the uh, Havana State Room. By the way, the Havana Bar does have salsa music. They have live bands performing and DJs. Oh wow, there's another bar down there. We're on the little bridge. It's made of, I don't know, plexiglass or glass? Scary, scary walk on the bridge. But so many people playing bingo, there's people all over. Downstairs there were a lot of people playing on the floor. They were laying down on the rug, on the carpet, just playing their bingo cards. Here's teppanyaki. Has sushi. It's one of the extra, you pay a little extra to, to uh, eat at this one. Front Street Watch is another place you have here on deck number eight. Okay, here's the Italian restaurant. For this one, you do have to make reservations, but it is included in the price of your cruise. When you're on a cruise, it's like being famous. People are always taking your picture, people that work here on the ship. And if you want to see those pictures, you come here to this area called Pixels. You can check in on any of these little screens and see your actual photos that they've been taking of you and decide if you want to purchase any. For you guys who've never been on a cruise ship, I'm going to tell you how I feel when I'm on it. When I'm on the ship, I feel like I'm, and I leave the room, I feel like I'm living in a high-rise apartment. I just left my room and I'm in the middle of a big city and I get to enjoy everything that little city or that big city has to offer. This area here is called 820 Biscayne. It houses the bar 820. Why is it called 820 Biscayne? Well, that is the address where Carnival started out. That's where it all started. And this whole theme here is like themed Miami because Biscayne or 820 Biscayne is in Miami, in downtown Miami. Right here we have Greetings from Miami, a little place where you can take a picture, a little photo opportunity. And you know, Miami is my hometown. That's where I grew up. Miami's not known for pizza, but there's a lot of pizzerias in Miami, a lot of good ones. like. Steve's Pizza and some others. But anyways, Miami Slice, a really cool spot. They open at 12 noon and they go all the way to 4 a.m. Right, baby? 4 a.m. you can have a slice of pizza. at 3 in the morning, it's you can come down incredible. here and grab something. And not only that, Miami Slice is right next to Deco Deli, where you can grab a nice uh, Cuban sandwich. Here it is, Bar 820, where Carnival started it all. All right, this is like Bar 20 on the outside. Pizza time! We made it to Miami Slice. Look at these pizzas. There's always a line here for Miami Slice. And you can just uh, grab your pizza and eat right across and enjoy the views. Another thing that they have right next to it, I was telling you before, is Deco Deli. Look at this, man. Deco Deli. They have Cuban sandwiches, the Cubano, the Reuben turkey sandwich they have everything they have everything a little bit of everything and you know you're in Miami when you got the flamingos hanging out usually in Miami at least one house in the neighborhood will have the pink flamingos outside it's just a Miami thing chill and tropical I just love this whole Miami vibe they got going on you know it's my hometown so of course <laughs> so way back there we saw the address H20 Biscayne and it's also right here a little reminder and it's also right here on this post a 20 Biscayne <laughs> next to uh, Deco Deli we have Rudy's Sea Grill for the seafood lovers and just down the hall we have Carnivore Adventures here they will help you plan out your uh, excursions oh my god guest services is a madhouse but the good thing is that after you pass by guest services, you get to Guy's Pig and Anchor, the patio, the watering hole, the carnival store, and Heroes, the Tribute Lounge, where they do have free ice cream. Across from the carnival store, we have the Pig and Anchor, a really cool area where you can have barbecue. They have bands play here. They have 80s night as well. Across is the Heroes Lounge, where of course, 
the awesome ice cream machine. One of two ice cream machines on board the ship with free ice cream all day and night. You do gotta love that. We head out of this room, which is really great because you do have the game room as well. We go to the patio. The patio is really cool. You do have a pool. What a great spot to relax. I love it. Beautiful. Check out the view back here. It's just amazing. Really, really nice. And it just looks so inviting, so relaxing. A really great spot to spend your, your afternoon. Look at that. Does that not say Miami right there? Oh my God. Yeah, I feel like I'm back home. Wait guys, this pool back here is called the Tides. And the one that's up there in the middle of the ship and up on Lido deck, that one is uh, called the beach the beach pool. Over here we do have two really nice hot tubs, man. These are pretty, pretty big. And they're close to the bar too, the watering hole, which is awesome. It's an outdoor bar. Here we can just go right back into the Heroes Lounge as we exit the patio. And there are a lot of areas just like this around the ship where you can just have peace and quiet, maybe just a little music going on. Just walked from the tides pool all the way to about the middle of the ship, and I've noticed that all along the side here, all the restaurants from indoors have an outdoors area. Each one has a different one with their own theme. As you can see here, this one is the Italian restaurant. All right, guys, I just found out that there's no way out over here, so we just passed like four restaurants. We gotta walk back. The hallways here seem to go on forever. So when you're looking for your cabin, and when you're not used to your number yet, you're like, wait, wait, where is it? Where is it? And it just keeps going and going. Deck 17, that's where you find guys, burger joint. This is our first time up here at Guys Burgers. Finally, but they're really good. I just got a simple cheeseburger, mayo and ketchup, and it's really good. Tasty. We're heading over to Red Frog Tiki Bar right here. So you can hang out at the Tiki Bar, have a drink. And what's good about it, of course, that you're undercover. You're not like uh, in the sun or anything. You can take a little break in the shade. And then you can head around, all the way around. We're actually surrounding the pool. We got a little entertainment here happening. Oh wow, sun is intense right now. Oh my God, after being inside, I can feel the heat. So yeah, be prepared for that. I forgot to mention, never forget your sunscreen. I mean, you guys know that by now, but don't forget your sunscreen. Don't forget your lip balm also. Posters all the way in the back, man. That was fun. <laughs> there goes my honey. Look at all the seating, and no one is off the ship today. Fun day at sea today. So you see that there is plenty, plenty of seating all around. It's just the main areas that get the most crowded. But um, I think it's really, really nice that they have so much seating available. The quiet pool is all the way on this side, so if you head this way, you'll get to the quiet pool area. So, here's another of the uh, hot tubs. So you get that one, and uh. I want to head back here and see if I can see 
There's an entrance from the top. Hello. From the quiet pool. But downstairs, there's also, see how here you have some shade? There's another a floor below this, which I was I went to after I left the quiet pool. It has some really nice shade. Or it might be on the other side. Yeah, I think it's across the other side. This is the one we were at the, uh, the other day, which is really nice. Quiet area for adults. You got the big nice uh, beds there are a couple of sofas here and the like uh kind of like a sunken living room there and then you have the pool on the, in the back area over there so you can see right behind me really really nice also love that they have little sofas you don't have to, have to always lay down you can like sit up on the little sofas now back here sometimes it gets really windy but it changes it changes from from one thing to another it changes from windy to calm it just depends on the day, you know what I mean? So back here, it was pretty cool. Like the other day, I had plenty of shade. I wasn't like uh, feeling like overheated or anything. It was a little more windy than today. So it really felt cool, but um, it's very relaxing. I mean, it's so much more quiet back here. So what I did was I was just like on the side where that has more shade. I wasn't really looking to get a suntan and um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really nice. What I like about here is that you can see the front. You know, if you've ever seen a Royal Caribbean ship, they have like the, the crown lounge on top where you can see the front of the ship. This is your chance to look out the front. Let me show you how it looks. When we saw the back, back by the tides pool. But over here, you get the, the front view and that's where we're heading. So I guess Miami's that way. <laughs> So the second side here is the same as the other. It's got the same resting areas. And we're going by the pool again. You can see the pools back there. And wow, they have so much shade on this side too. Both sides have a discovered area on this uh, deck. We'll check out the top deck now. 19, upstairs, they call it the loft. Oh, by the way, there is another hot tub back here. More seating all the way up there on those, up those steps. And then here, Loft 19, cabanas are full today. But let's see if we can walk around. Hopefully it's open just to uh, everyone to walk by. Maybe not, you gotta wait for service. All right, the guy here was so nice to me. He gave me all the information we need to know. If you're coming here and you wanna have the privacy and be upstairs, you would have to be staying in the Excel suites to access the pool on top, and the private cabanas. Now the pool on top, if you're wondering, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's actually like being in a fish aquarium. Okay, so that's what he was saying, that the Excel Suites have the, uh, the pool up there. Check it out. It's like, it's like being in a, in a uh, aquarium, fish aquarium. <laughs> and that's where you get your uh, private cabanas and the private pool, which is not so private. The people down here in the Serenity Pool can see you. There's this, the Serenity Bar. Again, this is the sunken living room. And back there is the regular Serenity Pool. The music here is kept low, so it's not as loud. You don't have all the yelling, you don't have all the dancing, that kind of thing, but it, it's not super quiet. Especially today, like on days where it's a, a full sea day, you're, you're gonna have a little more noise, a little more going on on a day like this, where it's just a fun day at sea. Carnival celebration. I've really enjoyed this cruise so far. I mean, it is day six. It's almost coming to an end. This is a sad part when you know you gotta start packing pretty soon. But we have one more full day tomorrow. So, hey, it's not here yet. It's not here yet. We still got a lot more to enjoy. We have the steel drum player live. Here's the pool, get a nice uh, view of the pool behind me. Looks great. Yeah, it's kind of hot. 
So he's one of the guys that's in our group. We have a pretty huge group, as I mentioned before, with 60 of us today, uh, or this week, hanging out because of the wedding. We went to a wedding, one of our friends is getting, just got married, so we got the newlyweds on board. You guys want to be in the blog? Yeah. Finally, somebody wants to be in my blog. Where are you guys from? Texas. Uh, Texas. Texas. You want to say your names and stuff? My name's Caden. Plug your channels. My, uh, I don't got a channel. You don't got YouTube? No YouTube? Uh, yeah, I got it. What's your name? Michael. Caden. Uh, Caden. Fox. Lexi. Sophia. All right, guys. So nice to meet you. I'm Marky Miles. So it's really nice when somebody wants to be in the blog. You got some new friends in the blog. <laughs>